kids at one school in Alabama were asked if they could bring some canned goods into class to help fend off an intruder should that ever happen. What? Yeah, the school sent out a letter claiming that a can could knock out an intruder. Their safety and security is the number one thing that we are looking at here, and we are trying to give them options rather than making them sitting ducks. Now, some of the parents are very upset about the plan, and Mike Galanos has been looking at it, and he is joining us today with more on what exactly was the plan. This you know, is the plan. I, you know, you could probably beam me with it, I'm yes. sure. I know, and this is a new studio. I'd it. like to throw this at Bob, but I won't. Eight Don't ounces, very anything. specific, yeah, I won't. Okay, <laughs> we just saw the letter there, Robin, and that's what, I think they went awry with the letter, and they, that's what they regret. Not that this is a last resort, and that's what it is, a last resort, but that they sent out the letter. Let me read some of the language okay, in there that has right. people like, uh, so like wait a minute. you have the letter. I have the letter, and here, I just pulled an excerpt of it, and here it is that people go, has you going, wait a minute. Uh, we realize at first, this may seem odd, however, it's a practice that would catch an intruder off guard. The canned food item could stun the intruder, even knock him out until the police arrive. That's something you pointed out, but here's the language. The canned food item will give the students a sense of empowerment to protect themselves and will make them feel secure in case an intruder enters the classroom. I think that's overstating things a little bit to think that this is going to make you feel secure if someone with a gun comes into the classroom. Now, if all you know what is breaking loose, and I think what the plan is, this is part of the ALICE initiative, uh, alert, lockdown, informed, counter, and that's what this part is, that if, if you hear gunshots and we're in the classroom and we all have one of these, like, Robin, did you hear that? You grab yours, I'll grab mine, everybody get ready, and we're throwing as soon as you see the person come in the room. I think that's what they're talking about. But to say that this makes you feel secure might be overstating things a little bit. So, um, uh, I don't know if we were able to ask our viewers what they think about that. We did. Okay. And you can continue to tweet me at Michael Anos H. We get a little bit of everything. Some not in favor of it, do not think it's a very good idea. Stephanie takes a little different place, saying it's wasteful. Why not donate the food and get a beanbag gun, pepper spray, or even a stun gun for the staff? And by the way, end of the school year, they are going to donate this to a food bank. Uh, David tweets, it's part of a broader active shooter initiative. Makes sense. Anything to survive, at least the school has a plan. And again, this is last resort. Want to point that out. One more from Chelsea. It is so sad to hear that, the, that this is even to be a thought at schools uh, for children. That kind of sums it up right there that we're even discussing this, but it's out there. People are talking, and let's continue the conversation. Tweet me at Michael Anos HLM. And I believe the head of the school did admit that uh, the letter should have explained better the yes, plan. Yes, should have educated okay. before sending now. Mike, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.